have my camera on um, a different setting, so I hope it doesn't mess everything up, but I don't think it will. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. Here's Charlie. Say hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna be doing um, a little bit of a q and A. I've been getting a lot of questions, uh, specifically about the wieners. We have one right here with a bone, and another one right here uh, with a bone. So yeah, sorry if they're a little bit distracting, but um, this video is about them, so we'll let them kind of... Girl, bye! Char! Oh, she's gonna go pick out another toy. Hopefully she'll join us in a second. Uh, but yes, today I'm gonna be doing um, a Q&A with some questions I've been getting about the dogs. I've been getting a lot of them on my YouTube comments and then some DMs and everything, so kind of try to answer some of those questions. Um, sorry if I didn't reply to your comments, I was kind of collecting them for this video. Um, so why don't we just dive right in, get into the questions that we have on my videos. <laughs> a question I've been getting a lot that I actually did answer already, but it might be a little bit unclear, um, is how do you discourage their barking? And specifically Dachshund, the Dachshund breed can be a little bit noisy. So what we've done that has worked and continues to work because we do have a puppy so she hasn't learned quite yet. <laughs> uh, but Bailey's pretty good. She's a pretty quiet dog. Really the only time that they bark is when they hear something outside of our apartment which we do live in an apartment so there is sounds. So um, people's voices, there could be a loud bang or whatever. Um, and they don't like start barking crazy, but they do growl and bark and it can get a little noisy. Um, so what we have done and what we continue to do is when they start doing that barking, we immediately, our word is quiet. So when they do start barking at any noise or anything, uh, we'll say that quiet word. And then when they're quiet for a certain amount of time, a couple seconds, we give them a treat. If we don't have a treat on hand, we, you know, we praise them for that. So when they are quiet, when they hear that word, they kind of are now associating that with a treat. So when they are quiet, they're like, oh, if we are quiet, we get a treat. Um, but yeah, that is really how we got them to stop at every tiny little thing and it gets better and better. So they'll hear something, they won't do anything. But then the next day it'll be louder and they'll do a little bit of it. So like they're stopping, they're barking at little tiny things and it's just getting better from there. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with her progress, but dogs do bark. So I mean, she wants to join me for the, for the next question. This person says, I'm looking to get a dachshund, but I don't know where to start. Price, breeds, all that stuff. I was wondering if you could give me a little rundown on what to expect when buying or other things I should know. Please and thank you. Okay, first thing was uh, where to start. So breeds, I I think since you started out with you're wanting to get a dachshund, I think what you mean is like colors and stuff or sizes. Um, so the colors I have are black and tan is Charlie and then Bailey's a red. I definitely think that um, reds are more laid back, I would say. Uh, reds and creams, and then the black and tans and dapples are a little bit more, um, not high maintenance, but in my experience, she was a little bit harder to train and a little bit, took a little bit more patience. Um, but they are known to be more of the hyper breeds, and then the red and cream are supposed to be the laid back ones. Now, of course, there can be some exceptions, but Overall, that's what they're supposed to be. So, um, and then I have a mini, full mini. So mom and dad were both minis and then Bailey is half mini, half full. So she's about 12 pounds and Charlie's about seven, eight-ish pounds. Overall, maybe for a first dachshund, I would try to go for something like a red or a cream. Uh, dapples are really pretty, but they do have like genetic conditions. They can get more easy something about the breeding how I don't know I'm not an expert but I just know um, from my research dapples and the like piebalds are a little bit more high maintenance if I can say that very loosely but I wouldn't necessarily say that one is completely so much better than the other but there is a little bit of a difference so I would do your research depending on what you want <laughs> um, so price I might do a little bit more in-depth video of the actual like cost of everything for buying a dachshund, 
especially because I have two and I've been through it twice with very very different price points dog wise so um, here's just a little bit of a rundown no detail just kind of telling you where it could range from so for the actual dachshund they're 300 to 2,000 could be more or less I guess depending on where you get them I mean there's free dogs everywhere but the chances of you getting a free dachshund is very low <laughs> Um, food can be, depending on the size of the bag that you get, they can be from $15 to $40, even $60, depending on what kind you get. Mine ranges about $30, $30 to $40. For harnesses, good ones are on the $40 range, and then just a basic one, about $15, $20. Bowls are $10 to $30. Uh, you'll want to invest in a ramp, which I actually got one. Somebody sent it to me to try out for free. so. I was actually on the market for one and then this person reached out to me and um, yeah, so I like that a lot. We're learning how to use it. We're not sure why we can't jump on the furniture anymore and why we have to use a ramp. <laughs> but yes, I would definitely invest in a ramp. You don't have to right away, but for training purposes I would, especially because their backs can get bad. Sorry, Bailey's playing with a toy. <laughs> so that's 80 to 160 range. Um, treats and toys depending on how much you get and what brands those can be very very different as well and you want to uh, take into consideration the shots grooming nails stuff like that unless you do it at home which is very very possible except for shots I mean I guess you could but <laughs> depending on what you'd want to do so um, if I had to average out everything with like mid prices about 1900 1900 to 2200 to spend for like everything if you were to get their shots groomed everything like that so around that is what is budgeted obviously it was very different between both dogs I spent a little bit more for Charlie than Bailey uh, but Bailey was also my first one so yeah that's kind of like the cost rundown of what you can expect to kind of spend for your dog um, but yeah it can be it can be different so that's not like a set in stone price but yeah okay someone said please share the website where you found the dachshund I actually found both dachshunds on Craigslist which is kind of a sketchy website um, but Bailey was pretty cheap for being a dachshund. It was kind of a spur of the moment for Bailey when we got her because I just enjoyed looking for dachshunds, I don't know, and found her. The lady said there was one left and it was actually the youngest, so she was the runt. And it was just a few hours away, one or two hours, not bad at all. If you don't know what Craigslist is, it's like, it's almost like a reselling website. I don't know, people selling mostly used things, but you do, you can find dogs on there if you're lucky. Somebody DM'd me and asked where I specifically found Charlie, um, and I found them both on Craigslist, and she told me what city she was near. I went on Craigslist again and actually found another litter of black and tan dachshunds, which was really funny because she was actually looking for like a black and tan as well. So I was like, I sent her the link and I was like, there's here's these ones, they're not that expensive and they're kind of around the city that you were looking for. And she was like, oh my gosh, yes. And she was like really surprised and really happy. So I sent her that link, but they're not on there very often. And when they are on there, they're only on there for a few days. If you're constantly checking, you'll definitely find some and you might have to travel a few hours away. But yeah, Craigslist is where I found mine. This person said, I want one so bad, but can't afford $1,800. They're actually, I didn't spend that much for either of them. That's like your cost total, unless you find like some dapple, really expensive, kind of upcharging them, maybe you'll spend that much. But if you're not willing to spend that much, definitely keep looking and keep researching places because they tend to not be that much if you don't get them from a pet store. I actually got Bailey for a couple hundred dollars. So they're definitely out there. Keep searching. You don't have to spend $1,800 um, unless you get them probably from like a pet store and they can charge up to $2,500, $3,000. So no, I wouldn't spend that much either, but that's just me. Somebody asked what state we got them in. Um, I got both my dachshunds in Ohio and we're in Iowa now. So um, 
I think that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if I saw any more questions anywhere else. You're so big now. She used to be so tiny and now she's just big. It's rude. Um, I can't think of anything else. I think that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful to someone I'm trying to get a weenie dog. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, I will try to reply to them ASAP. If you leave them in the comments below. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. What? <laughs> She's like, why am I not in it? Here's the two beautiful wieners. They're doing great. We just moved to a new state and they're doing so good. Aren't you? Say yes, ma'am. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. She's fine. She's fine. Cut.